Hey you guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the first couple of weeks of September 2021. So I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Please keep in mind these are general, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully you get some clarity. Also, if you're wanting to book a personal or private reading, be sure to check the description box below for ways to reach me. Make sure you're registered at Bill Per Call. Uh, if you want to reach me by phone, it's a separate process. You request that call back, and then if I don't get back to you that day, I'll get back to you within a seven-day time frame. Uh, also, be sure to check me out on Patreon uh, for the Venus readings. I do those monthly, as well as additional content. And check me out on TikTok. Okay, so we have the overall energy as the tower. We have the Eight of Wands, the Ace of Swords. We have the Six of Swords, the Knight of Swords, Two of Swords, the Hanged Man, and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so off the bat, I'm getting like a lot of telepathic communication between you and your love interests. Um, I feel like you guys are already interacting with each other um, through the mind. Maybe you're seeing like a lot of synchronicities. Um, maybe you're having like a lot of dreams. It seems like there's a lot of messages or information coming to you, sharing you things about your love life, your current partner or whoever's coming towards you. I do feel too like, hmm, something may be revealed to you that you weren't expecting or anticipating. Um, I feel like something's being activated too. Like this is something spiritual is going on. I feel like whoever you're dealing with or will be dealing with is activating your crown chakra or activating some sort of hidden gifts that, excuse me, you didn't know that you had. They're awakening something within you. This, this looks like a spiritual awakening. Even if you've already had one, like they're activating parts you didn't know you had. Um, they could be awakening your sexual energy as well. Um, but definitely like the psychic abilities or like visions or anything dealing with metaphysical, like astral traveling. Um, Something is guiding you to just kind of play something by ear. Sometimes you might feel like you don't know where things are headed, but you just kind of trust that, you know, your guys are taking care of you or you're trusting your intuition. Um, something seems to be leading you towards an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Maybe you weren't expecting to be led towards an air sign. Um, you might try to stop something from happening because you don't understand it or maybe you get cold feet. I don't know. It just seems like maybe you're like at some point you're like, wait, this can't be true or this can't be where I'm headed. Um, I do feel that you need to see something from a different perspective or you need to think outside the box. I feel like spirit is trying to get you to think or act outside of your comfort zone. Like there needs to be a shake up in your life. Maybe your life has been too mundane. Um, and so I feel like something's happening so that, you know, you can experience something different um, and unique or unusual. I feel like you're also just being admired. Um, you seem to be coming off very patient as well or taking your time or maybe you have to be patient with this person they might have a crazy or wild nature to them that you're not used to yeah that could be part of the lesson that you're learning it also looks like you were before this person came along you were headed on one path or one direction and then they just like came in forced you to go in a different direction in life. Hmm. 
yeah pay attention to those dreams because it looks like just a lot of messages or downloads are coming to you when you're resting or when you're asleep sometimes you might want to be left alone or you know you're like I need to escape I need to get away from this person I need my me time and maybe this person is like where are you going what you doing like something's going on where I just feel like communication is challenging Something seems like it also could just start heading towards commitment like super fast. You're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Somebody's going to blow your mind. Like, you can't figure this person out. You're like, who, who are you? What am I dealing with? Like, what is this all about? This is new. You may have had strategized the direction of this relationship and you're about to be thrown off course you're like oh my god like none of these rules apply or my strategy isn't working now even if you are single like something's going on where I just still feel like there's gonna be uh, some sort of plot twist or unexpected situation you might find yourself suddenly single if you were in a relationship it might get exposed that somebody was talking to somebody sending in messages um, an exchange of messages between two people behind your back um, <clears throat> now if you have a secret admirer I feel like that person is gonna get caught Yeah, because they're trying to find out something quietly, but they end up getting clumsy or doing something they didn't mean to do. Yeah, I feel like you're also trying to navigate some sort of dreams. You're like, what? You're trying to interpret them. You're like, why do I keep dreaming about this? Or where is this headed? What does this mean? Hmm. Seven, seven may be significant to you. Excuse me. I feel like you're really just trying to navigate through something that's very confusing. Now something is a little troubling where it looks like you could end up finding out that this person has a hidden or secret child or family or relationship so be careful of that like you thought this person was all one way and turns out that they've been hiding stuff from you If there's someone that you feel keeps trying to get your attention spiritually, I feel like you are trying to cut the cord from them or you're trying to block this energy um, or protect yourself from this energy. But they keep trying. They keep trying to break through your barrier. Yeah, they won't leave you alone. Even if you try to move on, you're trying to escape or move on from somebody, I feel like they're going to show up and try and block you and be like, I didn't say the relationship was over. Like, where do you think you're going? Hmm. 
I'm getting some weird interdimensional experiences. Like you might have some dreams where it feels like you are in between worlds or something. Something unusual. On a mundane level, I, I feel like things are just going to be halted. Like something, there's movement, things are, like a relationship is headed in one direction, and then something happens where the momentum stalls. But I think that's because you don't want something to happen too quickly. Yeah, so this whole stalling thing is to strategize. Someone is like, okay, I need to regroup. I need to figure out how I'm going to, like, how is this going to play out? Because I told you it looked like you had plans for this relationship to play out this way. And the universe is like, that's not going to work. Um, so because something feels out of control or out of your hands, I feel like you go into hiding or you go into isolation and try and figure out what to do. If you aren't the one doing this, then it's reversed. They're doing this to you. I do feel like there are choices to be made. For some of you, unfortunately, I do feel like you're going to find out their secret, like they're involved with somebody else. Somebody is very honest about their lifestyle or what they want or what they're into. And I feel like if that's you, they appreciate you for your honesty or that's what they value about you. Yeah. They're like, I like how you just say what's on your mind. I like how you break it down. I like how you just blah, blah, blah. Like somebody's being very honest. So if they're lying, then you're being honest. <laughs> uh, if you're lying, then they are the ones being honest. Mm. Somebody is also very private about their past. But I feel like that can lead to paranoia. Like if someone is trying to take their time with revealing things to you about their previous relationship, it might get misconstrued for them being in a relationship. And that also could be what I'm picking up. It's like, just be honest about it and there won't be any confusion. Um, it does look like there's some sort of accusations going on. And I kind of feel like somebody's like, see, this is why I don't tell this to everybody. So I don't know what that what that's about, but I just kind of feel like somebody's taking on that attitude. Um, I also feel like you are disassociating yourself from drama or anybody that is playing mind games. You're like, I don't I don't have time for that. Mm. If you're dating, I feel like you are doing just that. You are not in a rush to settle down. Maybe the other person was in uh, was like rushing. Either you were or the other person was like rushing. Something was going too fast. Yeah. I feel like someone wants to take their time before they make a decision to commit or not. Yeah. 
So hopefully those messages resonate, but feel free to leave your feedback. Thank you guys for watching. Sydney Love and Grace.